Hi, this is Norman Kochnick for Extra Time. Something quite dramatic has actually happened at the end of the day, third day's play of the uh, third test between India and Australia, the Board of Kavaska Trophy. In fact, there's been some officials, Indian officials and management that have been actually furious with what is believed to be alleged racist abuse from SCG crowd members. Now, the, the reality is there's only 10,000 people in the crowd today. There was 9,000 in the second, 8,000 in the first. But there's apparently been percolating away for two days some so-called alleged abuse being levelled towards well, Siraj today from the round weekend and Bumrah at certain stages of the match as well. Um, having been in the audience or the crowd for the, the three days of the test, certainly you can hear more audible the actual sounds from the crowd itself. But it's, it's interesting because at the end of today's play, there was a, a certain number of officials that were talking to both Nick Hockley, the CEO of Cricket Australia, or the acting CEO of Cricket Australia, and also Head of Integrity and Security, Sean Carroll, were both spoken to by Indian um, management in regards to this matter. It does look like something was actually said. The, it was it's, it's alleged as racist, but it may well be an insult of sorts, which is certainly not a great deal different. But the reality is that it's a fair bit of discussion. There are also girls in the crowd that I actually witnessed myself, both in the Barongal stand and the member stand that were actually calling out to Boomer in particular during the match to get his attention. And there were quite nice comments, they were quite positive and quite welcoming comments. But that is not what we're talking about here specifically. It's about the actual alleged racist comments or the alleged form of abuse by way of insults that have been leveled at both Siraj from the round weekend and Boomer at various positions on the boundary as well. They both have now reported been locked inside the dressing rooms after the match with that match official David Byrne and a number of other security as to what was transpired. In fact, one of the Indian management also was believed to be behind Boomer and witnessed the transgression as well. Now that's all still percolating, still being sorted out. Uh, there's been an official complaint made by the BCCI, and this will be certainly expanding in this information throughout the night as we find more into the next day. But uh, a startling re revelation, uh, certainly a dramatic moment here at the third test, certainly has derailed some of the, the performances of today as Australia looked particularly good. India certainly didn't bowl badly at all. They bowled quite well, but in, in the end, this matter has over overtaken the day on top of the issues that obviously relate to the Brisbane test and the, the doubts as to whether India will go to, the, to Brisbane and the conjecture around that, and also the discussion around the various COVID breaches going back to Coley and um, the likes of Hardik Panidia. So there's been a fair bit of um, controversy, and this is certainly adding to it. As, as the headlines are saying, there's certainly a, a certain alleged racist abuse, or at least some form of insult that's been leveled from the SCG crowd, of course, being a lesser crowd, they're more audible, more, more easily heard. This is Norman Kochnick here for Extra Time. Please view, like, and share the post and, and please listen for feedback and comments that we'll give you and we'll provide you and we'll certainly follow this particular um, situation as, as, it, as, it, as it breaks about the so-called alleged abuse and form of insult. Norman Koshnick from Extra Time.